First is the danger of futility. The belief there is nothing one man or one woman can do against the enormous array of the world ills, against misery, against ignorance, or injustice and violence. Yet many of the world's great movements of thought and action have flowed from the work of a single man. A young monk began the Protestant Reformation. A young general extended an empire from Macedonia to the borders of the earth. And a young woman reclaimed the territory of France. It was a young Italian explorer who discovered the New World, and 32-year-old Thomas Jefferson, who proclaimed that all men are created equal. These men move the world, and so can we all. Few will have the greatness to bend history, but each of us can work to change a small portion of the event, and then the total, all of these acts will be written in the history of this generation. From numberless, numberless, diverse acts of courage such as these, with the belief that human history is thus shaped. Each time a man stands up for an ideal, or acts to improve the lot of others, or strikes out against injustice, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope, and crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest wall of oppression and resistance. For the fortunate amongst us, the fourth danger, my friends, is comfort. The temptation to follow the easy and familiar path of personal ambition and financial success so grandly spread before those who have the privilege of an education. But that is not the road history has marked out for us. There is a Chinese curse which says, may he live in interesting times. Like it or not, we live in interesting times. They are times of danger and uncertainty, but they are also the most creative of any time in the history of mankind. And everyone here will ultimately be judged, will ultimately judge himself on the effort he has contributed to building a new world society and the extent to which his ideals and goals have shaped that effort. With a good conscience, our only sure reward, with history the final judge of our deeds, let us go forth to lead the land we love, asking his blessing and his help, but knowing that here on earth, God's work must truly be our own. I thank you.